you guys, I am stressed. Oh my gosh. Let me just say, if uh, you've ever moved to another state that's far away, I, uh, I feel for you <laughs> because it is not fun. I'm very excited to actually be, to just have it be over with at this point. I'm just like, yeah, I just have, I've, I've been making like a to-do list and I've been like crossing things off and it's just, it seems like it's never ending. And like today I was on the phone almost all day, like trying to schedule things and, um, <coughs> oh my God, it's just been madness. And I need to go to Home Depot because I need to get my blinds replaced for this room because <coughs> cat lady problems, my cats ruined my blinds in here. Luckily, only this room, um, but I need to get them replaced before I move out. But every time I go to the door to leave, it starts storming outside. So I'm like, it's not meant to be. But <coughs> sorry, my throat is dry. I just brushed my teeth. I should have drank a glass of water afterwards. Um, <coughs> wow, yeah, that's annoying. Hopefully that'll stop. If not, I'll stop recording and go get something to drink. Um, yeah, in fact, I'll get something to drink right now. Okay. Water consumed. <gasps> hey, you. What you doing? Come over here and say hi. Sammy. Um. Anyways, getting to the point. Finally, I um decided I would do kind of a things I'm loving video slash weekly favorites because <laughs> I used to do the I've done uh, blah, blah, blah. I used to do these videos for like a few weeks in a row. I did these. Um, and they were really fun, but, um, I started to just do monthly favorites instead. What's funny is I just did a monthly favorites video, like two videos ago, but I had stuff to talk about again and I really just like decided on a whim to make a video as usual, but, um, I didn't know what to film right off hand and I wasn't prepared to film other things. So yeah. Okay. Sorry if it's dark. Um, I have light on everything, but it's just really, it's been dark all day. It's so depressing. Um, anyways, I thought I would just go over some things. Um, I think I said in my get ready with me video that something was breaking me out and I wasn't sure what it was. So for the moment, because I have enough stress right now, don't need to be dealing with breaking out as well. I stopped using my Origins toner, my Origins moisturizer, and the Aveda toner, just for a time being. I love all those things, but one of those things is definitely breaking me out. And I know it's one of those because I completely cleared up after I stopped using them. But um, I just don't feel like trying to narrow it down right now. But I picked up a new moisturizer. I'd wanted to try this anyways. And it's um, the Clean and Clear Morning Burst Hydrating Gel Moisturizer, and it's oil-free. And I'm so surprised. I really love this and it has not broken me out. I've been using it for about for a few days and I've been using it morning and night and um, it has a similar consistency to the Origins um, Make a Difference Plus. Um, it has like a gel. It's obviously a gel and it smells like fruity and sweet kind of like cucumber, um, banana, other fruits <laughs> but um but it's really like a pleasant smell and it's not like overwhelming it fades you don't smell it all day on your face or anything like that but um yeah I really like this so it was like six dollars I got it from Walmart um so far so good also I've been I really hated to buy shampoo and conditioner right now because I'm trying to use things up and not purchase any new things but I legitimately did not have any shampoos or any conditioners left. I've like used up everything that was left of like, you know how sometimes you just throw bottles into the cabinet when you're kind of sick of them, when there's like this much left? Well, I went through all of mine that were like that. But I went out and I bought two drugstore ones because I didn't want to splurge when I'm about to move. But um, this is the Pantene Aqualite. I never used to, like I really, had like a vendetta against Pantene. Um, but like for a really long time, I never used any Pantene for pro, uh, products. But when I was visiting my family the last time, my mom had the age defy shampoo and I loved it so much and the conditioner too. And I loved both of those and I didn't have any problems with them. And so I decided I would give them another shot, but I've been liking this so far. It's just a simple, basic 
shampoo. It's silicone free, not sulfate free, but um, yeah, it's good. And I've also been using the Garnier um, Hydra Recharge one minute moisture replenish treatment. Why do things always have to have long complicated names? And it's for dry hair. And I only use conditioner on the ends of my hair, basically anything that will go in a ponytail. And um, this smells amazing. It has goji berry, passion fruit, and kiwi. It smells awesome. And it makes, it does make my hair really soft. And you know, that's all I ask for in a conditioner. But sometimes it's good. I tend, I sometimes can be a shampoo and conditioner snob. And it's nice sometimes to switch back to drugstore stuff and realize that they're just as good. So, um, and I, I mentioned it in my monthly favorites, but I have to mention it again because honestly, it's changed the life of my hair. <laughs> um, the Tresemme Platinum Strength um, Strengthening Heat Protect Spray. It's the spray. I felt bad because my mom actually went out, she watched my video and, uh, she went out to Walgreens and she bought the shampoo and conditioner and she didn't realize that what I bought was the, what I was talking about was the spray. So I've, I've heard those are good too though, mom, don't worry. <laughs> but um, this stuff is amazing. I just spray it all over my hair before I blow dry it and my hair it's is like the softest ever. And it really does protect against frizz. It smells nice. I just, there's not enough good things to say about it. If you haven't bought any kind of Trust My Hate Protect product before, do it. <laughs> So, um, okay, next, next, next. I got these two body sprays from um, Bath and Body Works. This one was $5, this one was free, so uh, that was a steal. This one, Sugarberry Smash, reminds me of the Sweet on Paris one, only more of like a, there's more berry than vanilla, but it's really sweet. It was part of the um, semi-annual sale or annual sale or whatever it is that they do. But um, I'm not sure if you can still get your hands on that. But if you can, it smells really good. And then this one, it, I've been actually wearing this almost daily, which I never do with body sprays. But it's called um, Beautiful Day. And I remember smelling this when, like, it was about to be released and not thinking it was anything special. But I don't know. It smells really fresh and clean. So it's really, like, it's a nice kind of throw-in-your-bag thing to have. So I think this has apple in it, too. Funny enough... I, I like apple juice, but a lot of times like with mixed juices and stuff, when it says apple in it, I'm like, no, I don't want it. But with like fragrances and stuff, a lot of times when it has apple in it, I know I'm going to like it. I don't know. I'm weird. Um, also, I had to show you the other things I got from Bath and Body Works. This is a very successful little haul. I got these little nail files, which are the cutest things ever. Foxes and cats. How freaking cute love them and then this got me super excited for fall they had an I love pumpkin um, antibacterial hand gel and I love pumpkin scents I cannot wait for fall candles I'm f like so excited <laughs> ah fall candles are my favorite yes so excited oh this pouch I've I got this like a couple months ago from Target so I just had them in there but um I got this brush it was in my lap from forever 21 it is the cutest brush ever because it has kittens on it with bows and polka dots. It's so cute. I just, you know, a brush is practical. They had a little like brush set with the brushes looked really crappy. I was tempted to get that, but I would never have used that. That would have been completely impractical. So um, I have some little things to talk about. But first, last night I was up until five o'clock in the morning. And I blame this book because I picked it up at 1 a.m. when I got into bed and I didn't put it down until I was finished with it. It's only 267 pages, so it's really like not bad. But I, I showed it to you guys when I got it. But it's The Silver Star by Jeanette Walls and she wrote The Glass Castle, which is amazing. And basically this reminded me of a cross between Glass, class, glass Castle, um, To Kill a Mockingbird, and another book that I just read called The One I Left Behind by um, Jennifer McMahon. But if you've read any of those books and liked any of those books, I would highly recommend this. It was the first 100 pages were like on the slower side. Not like boring, but not the action really picked up about 100 pages in and I couldn't, I just couldn't put it down. It was really good. Definitely a lot of like, 
there were a lot of race themes, a lot of um, family things like with child neglect and abuse and things like that. Um, if those are things you like to read about, I would definitely check this out. So there's the book again. Um, okay, I have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> so I'm going to stop filming and I'm going to come back. TMI! Okay, back to business. I fed the kitties too. Come here! I miss you. This is the snuggliest cat in the world. His name is Sammy. You already know him, but I always like to introduce him over and over again. <laughs> Just in case it's your first time meeting him. Whoa! That's Mouse. Hi! He doesn't like being picked up. He likes to snuggle. Now I'm covered in fur. Okay. Oh my god. This is like the rambliest video ever. You can tell that my mind is just like elsewhere right now. <laughs> um, okay. So back to business. Like I said, I've been using this a lot lately. The Nivea Caramel Cream Kiss Lip Butter. These are really good. I like this. I've actually been wearing this under lipstick. I didn't used to do that, but um, it smells so good. I said it before and I'll say it again. It smells like wafer cookies like the strawberry wafer cookies, which it's not strawberry, but that's what it smells like. I don't get it. <laughs> but um, anyway, so I've been using that a lot. Also, I picked up two of the new baby lips. Um, these are the Electro Collection ones. This is O Orange. And what's a shame is that I like this color a lot, but it tastes like a cleaning product to me, and I don't like it, which is a bummer, because I really like orange things on my lips especially the two of these together I'm a big fan of mixing oranges and pinks to make like a pretty coral color so this is strike a rose when I saw this I was like are you serious Maybelline you're coming out with another or no <laughs> they came out with a new color whisper called strike a rose and I was like are you serious Maybelline you're coming out with another lip product called strike a rose because there's this which is strike a, strike a rose they came out with a color sensational lipstick last fall called Strike a Rose. And now they're coming with, out with the Color Whisper. Have you not heard of Googling? That makes things very complicated. <laughs> if you look up Maybelline Strike a Rose, you're gonna come up with like a million different things and you're not gonna be able to figure out what swatches you're trying to look for. Boo, Maybelline. So there's Strike a Rose. That one actually smells really, really pretty, but I don't know what it is about Maybelline Baby Lips. I just like, I didn't even wanna get these at first. I was kind of suckered in and they're really cheap but um I just don't like them very much am I the only one I don't know what it is about them I just don't reach for them so I don't know those are much better than the other ones I've tried from the baby lips line but still okay there are new color whispers and I was completely taken by surprise because Nouveau Cheap hadn't even posted about this yet when I saw them and uh Walgreens but there's a new display and I picked up two shades which is shocking because I am obsessed with color whispers but I only picked up two and this is um pink bombshell and I posted swatches of these on my Instagram this one has a bit of like a, a shimmer to it like an iridescence I don't know if you can see like yeah you can see a little bit um but it looks really pretty on the lips it kind of reminds me of YSL um, the YSL Golden Lusters, especially this shade in particular reminds me of 108 uh, Rose Ochre or Ochre Rose. I can't remember which one it is, but um, the other shade I got is um, Red About Town. I can't remember if I said already, but I did swatch these on Instagram if you want to see lip swatches. And this is basically what I think a lot of people wanted who, want, who wore it redder to be. It reminds me a little bit of Candy Apple the, from the Revlon Lip Butters, but it's uh, beauteous. It also reminds me of a Luscious Cherry from the YSL Volept Sheer Candies. But, okay, last but not least, I know I said I was going to do a drugs like a high-end roundup for fall collections, but I don't think I got enough things <laughs> to actually do that. So I was just going to talk really quickly. I think I already talked about Gree Gree. Um, I know for sure I used it in my Get Ready With Me video. But I've been using this so much. It has been such a go-to. Oh, you don't want to see my swatch tissue. <laughs> um, it's been such a go-to lipstick for me. It's just a beautiful, it looks like darker when I, in the tube than it does on my lips too. Like it looks more of a nude on, but it is 
so beautiful i'm obsessed with this so that's 546 gris gris love i'm trying to talk fast because i know this is long already because i'm like extra rambly today um and then last but not least i had to mention these because they're amazing and i hadn't talked about them at all in a video yet and i do have swatches of both of these on instagram as well these are the new ysl lipsticks and this one oh my god this is number 51 Corel Urbane <laughs> with a Spanish accent. Um, I'm wearing it right now. But I actually, when I saw this, I was like, oh, this is really bright. I'm not really going to be able to wear this to work. Uh, yes, I have. <laughs> and it totally, I, you could totally get away with it. That's what's great about the Rouge Pure Coutures. Um, they're buildable. You can wear them how you want. And same thing with the Dior Ad. Well, Dior Ad Extremes are, are pretty buildable too, I guess. But, um, but yeah, they're buildable, so you can build it up to more intensity if you want. But um, but yeah, I love this color. I've worn it a ton. It's totally worth checking out if you like pinks and corals and all those. The other one, I'm going to do apply it to my lips right now so you can see it as well, because it's cray cray. This is number 54, and I wasn't originally planning on getting this, but when I tested it at the counter, I was really lucky when I went to my Nordstrom counter, nobody had tried the testers yet, so like I had no qualms about trying on the testers which was awesome but um I loved this color on me so yeah I'm gonna try it on real quick I thought it actually might be helpful if I showed you how I apply this so I'm gonna use my uh <laughs> screen whatever it's called but yeah with dark shades like this I tend to I'm gonna use the mirror and the tube too i tend to kind of pat them on and rub them then it also creates more of a matte finish that way which personally i prefer with dark lipsticks so you see it looks really messy but And you can build it up. See, look at how, how wearable that is like that. But then you can build it up, though. I'll show you straight from the tube. That's what it looks like. Crazy. Okay. I know this is making this video really long, but I felt like this would be really helpful for you guys. So now you see my crazy finger from doing that, but so you see, you can build it up. So before, like the first way was much more wearable, but this one is much more dramatic. But um, yeah, I totally am loving this lipstick. I cannot wait to bust this out for fall. I feel like it's gonna be up there with my Granat Satisfaction and Bobbi Brown um, Crushed Plum. Um, as one of my favorite fall lipsticks, I guarantee it. So that's what that looks like. So I guess I will be closing up this video now. I'm sitting in the weirdest position. <laughs> you can't see it, but I am. Um, but I don't know if I'll be able to make another video before I move. So I'm scheduled to work the next nine days in a row. And then my mom is coming down. We're going to pack things up or whatever we can. And then the movers are coming to move my furniture and move all the boxes and we're gonna fly up with the kitties and it's going to be crazy so um I, like having little boxes everywhere I keep thinking that I'm like a cat one of my cats is watching me and it's like a box <laughs> this is a cat lady and again cat lady problems okay all right I will talk to you guys later I hope you enjoyed this video bye in all of my frazzled wonder I completely forgot to show you one more lipstick it's the Dior Addict Extreme in Bon Aventure 986 yeah 986 and this is a beautiful like plum shade it's pr pretty dark it's one of the darkest Dior Addict Extremes I think I've seen but um, I wanted to show you what this one looks like on too because I wore it in um, my face of the day that I just took so it's actually like over an hour <laughs> since I filmed this video but I'm gonna do this one too just because what's nice about this one too just like with the 
um, Prune Avenue. Did I even say the name of it or when I filmed it? I don't think I did. Um, just like the YSL Prune Avenue. This one can be built up. So you can wear it, you know, like that, or you can wear it. like that pretty vampy but um but yeah so that is my little current favorites video sorry if that's really sloppy I'm not using a mirror I'm just using my viewfinder so um but yeah I hope you enjoyed this and I will talk to you guys later bye again